Hey guys, I'm Mackenzie and I'm Malia and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about all of our curly hair tips and tricks and also answering your guys' most asked questions about how we get our curls to be popping. Yes. So, so you guys can get your hair popping too. Help all the curly girls yes. and guys out there. So let's get into the video. Let's get it. Okay guys, this is the most asked question. What products do you use to get rid of frizz? I've definitely struggled with this in the past and I've kind of mastered how to get rid of frizz. So my number one tip would be to use a microfiber towel. This has changed the game for frizzy hair. If you use a regular cotton towel, it's gonna attract so much frizz in your hair, that's not what you want. So a microfiber towel will help you so much. Also, another tip with frizzy hair is try not to touch it a lot. I know it's hard yes. not to touch your hair because it makes it really frizzy. Try getting a satin pillowcase when you sleep. It helps you yes, that's so keep true. the frizz down and also your hair look good for second day hair. Fourth tip for controlling frizz is to use a cream-based product after you get out of the shower. Um, I think that really helps contain the frizz and we will show you guys all the products we use um, further along in the video. Yes. So next question. Any hair growth tips? So this is a really good question and we have tons of tips for you. So this is something that I struggled with a lot because my hair was really dead and I had to eventually cut them off and my hair doesn't really grow that fast anyways. First and best tip is co-washing. So co-washing is basically when you only condition your hair in the shower and then maybe twice a week, depending on how oily your hair is, use shampoo. Try not to use heat. I know it's really hard. Try to stay away from straightening your hair, blow drying, curling. You can diffuse your hair. Wouldn't recommend it to people that have really dry and dead end hair. I personally don't do it. I like my hair, how it looks when it air dries, but if you're in a rush and you have to go somewhere and get it dry, use a diffuser, it's not the end of the world. Um, Another hair growth tip I would think of is cutting off the dead ends. My hair was so, so, so dead. We had to cut it off. The dead ends were just like making your hair frizzy and like stringy at the end. Yeah. So it just didn't look good and healthy. And I know it's kind of scary, but you can always ease up into it too. Like you don't have to do like a huge chop. I promise you it'll look way better than it did when it's like long Crusty. and like stringy and it just doesn't look good. Next question guys. Okay. How do you maintain your curls looking moisturized and healthy? Ooh. Okay. This is a great question. Um, thank you for thinking my hair looks healthy and moisturized. It took a long time to get to this place. I think that's what a lot of people don't realize is how, mo how much works, how much work goes on like behind the scenes and how to get your hair healthy after it's been damaged for such a long time. Yeah. Again, cut off the dead ends. After you get out of the shower, I use Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I would also really recommend once a week doing a hair mask. I'll put in some pictures of hair masks that we personally use and recommend mm -hmm. to get that moisturized hair look. So the next question, we kind of already touched on this a little bit, but we'll go into it again. So it says, for damaged hair, what can you use to help restore back to healthy, naturally curly hair? I would just say stay away from heat, cut off or trim the dead ends that you have. After you cut out the heat and you trim off the dead ends, and your hair will grow. So. I, it sucks because I remember watching these YouTube videos when my hair was dead and being like, oh, I don't want to trim my hair. Yeah. And then being like, oh, I want to keep straightening my hair. I don't know how to do my curls. That's what I kept thinking. So I totally understand where you guys are coming from. And also, no one at our school that. ever had curly hair. Yeah. So I always felt like weird wearing my curly hair. I was like, oh, I, I like... Everyone else has straight hair, so I yeah. guess I'll just straighten my hair. For and sure. it was a little bit easier to deal with, but once you get it down, it's like embrace the natural curls or whatever natural hair you have. For the styling products that we have, we really only have one thing from Shea Moisture, and it is a little bit expensive, but I would love to use the shampoo and conditioner just to try it oh, out, yeah. and maybe we will one of these days. Sis, I try out Shea Moisture's shampoo and conditioner. It literally, it smells really good, and it left my hair so soft. Like, so, so, so soft. I literally love it so much, and I think I'm going to switch to it, even though it is kind of pricey. Literally love it, so yeah. Their products are kind of expensive, but I do love the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. If you would want to get anything, it would be that one. Also, it's not ridiculously priced. Like, Diva Curl is like $50 Oh, yeah, it's, it's better priced than Diva Curl. It's $12, so it'll probably last one person three months. And if you really are looking for something a little bit cheaper, I would recommend using Cantu. But Cantu is a good alternative, too. I want to say half the price, but yeah, it's, it's like six it's pretty, or seven dollars. It's pretty good price. So for an alternative, that's a good uh, product too. Next question is favorite styling product. My favorite all time favorite styling product is Shea Moisture's Shea Curl Moisture. Enhancing Smoothie. 
The curl enhancing smoothie is amazing. That is my absolute favorite styling product. Um, it keeps my hair moisturized, looking healthy, refreshed, all of the above. I have used Shea Moisture's gel and it, it is really good. So I've kind of shied away from gel for my personal hair because I think it looks good um, a little bit looser, but I would scrunch up my hair with gel and it would definitely be more defined. So if you're looking for more defined curls, I'd recommend using a gel 100%. Another styling product I like is the Argan Oil. It really repairs the dead ends on your hair. And even if you don't, it just kind of adds a little bit of moisture. All right, so the next question is, what shampoo and conditioner do you use? By the way, I love you guys a lot. I love you love so you much. So I love you guys. Much. All right, so the shampoo and conditioner we use, there's actually two that we kind of switch out from and they're both sulfate free and paraben free. And the first one is by L'Oreal. And then the other one that we use is called um, OGX, I think. Well, basically what they're saying is they use the curly hair products that we use, but it's not working for their hair. So she asked, what is she doing wrong? I couldn't really say for sure. Everyone's curls are different. So maybe you need a little bit more product, maybe like a gel, have it more defined. Microfiber towel, Denman brush, and then a curly hair cream. It doesn't have to be Shea Moisture, but you can always venture out into different products that mm -hmm. maybe work for your hair better. I've heard that Pillow Soft curls are really good. Cantu's not bad. Okay, this is a great question. How many times a week do you wash your hair? Like Malia oh. was saying, we do both co-wash our hair, which is where you only use conditioner in the shower and you skip the shampoo step. So what we personally do is I probably wash my hair every day. Well, every day that I'm going out, okay? but I'm only using conditioner. Like today I did not shampoo my hair, which means I didn't strip my hair of the natural oils. So I probably actually wash my hair two times a week with shampoo and conditioner. It depends on the day for me. I usually wash my hair when I'm going out, but I yeah. do, I think we do have another question on how to wear your hair on second day hair. And I actually had the biggest problem with that Same. because I didn't really know how to do it. I usually wash my hair like every other day and like twice a week with shampoo and conditioner. And sometimes I'll just leave it up in a bun and then I don't really want to wash my hair. But yeah, we can show you guys too in a whole different video how we like restyle our curls. Question number probably infinity, I don't know. <laughs> okay, how do you add volume to your curls and do you always air dry your hair? Mm. Personally, add volume to my hair. I'll show you guys right now. Flip it over and I go like this. I take my fingers and I shake out my roots. That's how I get volume. You guys can see that added a little bit more. Ooh. Um. So yeah, that's how I personally Either add volume. using your fingers or a pick. Yes. A pick is good too. That's what I was just gonna say. A pick, you can get a little bit more volume like that. Personally, I kind of like my hair with a little less volume than more, um, but it really depends on how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I want my hair to be big and crazy, then I'll just pick it out starting from the back. Do you always air dry your hair was the second part to that question. Um, I would say nine times out of 10, I'm air drying my hair. If I need to, I will diffuse it. Um, I have the Diva Curl Diffuser. It has a little hand attachment. It's so cute. I love it. It was like $150. I personally stay away from the diffuser just because my hair is a lot curlier than Kenzie's. So it kind of frizzes up my hair and my hair is already pretty voluminous naturally. Yeah. So I'll usually just go like this with my hair, flip it over and then run my hands through it. Sometimes I'll use a pick, sometimes I won't. Usually I'll just use my hands. But yeah, I've used the diffuser like a few times. I just, I like how my hair looks better when I air dry, air dry. it. It just looks more defined and, and I think softer. It, I think it lasts longer too. Also, if you guys do want more volume, diffusing is absolutely great for volume. If you guys are looking for a little bit more volume in your hair at your roots, it's great for that. So diffusing is awesome. Yes. Yes. Next question. What oil use for your hair? I said this before, argan oil is the best oil that I use for my hair. It smells really good. It does hydrate your hair at the bottom, so sweet. Okay, guys. Do you like your hair curly and do you hate it when you brush them? <laughs> Don't uh, brush your curls. Okay, first things first, I love my hair curly. I've learned to love it over time. It's been a while to get there. I used to hate my curly hair mm -hmm. and I didn't know how to do it, so I just straightened it every day of my life. So that's when I completely ruined my hair. There was no people with curly hair at my school. Like I just, I felt really insecure about my hair, so I just didn't wear it, but now I don't care. Do you hate it when you brush them? Okay, first things first, never ever brush your curls when they're dry. And I think most curly girls know this. Yeah, never brush your hair dry. And I also recommend brushing your hair in the shower first, completely getting all the tangles out, and then brushing it one more time once you get out of the shower. Yeah. That way your hair is completely soaked 
in water. So that's what I always do. I brush it out till all the tangles are completely gone in the shower. Yeah, I used to hate my hair too because no one in her school had curly hair. Whatever. People like called it. her a lion. Yeah, some of the kids made fun of me and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna straighten my hair. Yeah. And then I realized, I was like, oh, I like my curls. And I figured out how to do it. It took a while, but I was like dedicated to figuring out how to do it. I was like, I can't straighten my hair anymore. It's just gonna yeah. kill it. I'm gonna have to cut it to like a year or something. <laughs> gonna have but to yeah, like I had to trim it and I was like, okay, I'm done with all this. I'm just gonna wear my hair curly. So that's what I did. And I absolutely love my curls. Yes. So embrace the natural curls. Okay. This is a question we got. Um, do you know how to make tighter curls more loose? Okay. Yes. We have some tips for you here. I would say there's two different ways that you can apply um, creams into your hair. One way is raking it through and then scrunching it. That's going to give you more defined, tighter curls. So that's what you want to stay away from if you have tight curls and you want them to be looser. My other tip would be to go like this with your hair. Get the product like this, which I personally don't do because I want my hair a little bit more defined and curly. Mm -hmm. But you can put the cream in your hand. Swish it around like this and then go like this, which will make it a little bit flatter. And then don't scrunch it because scrunching is going to be what makes your hair tight. But you kind of just do what works for your hair and mm -hmm. your type. What we both would recommend is to play around with your hair. Maybe like every day of the week, try something different until you see the results you want to see. So mm -hmm. start with that base product that we recommended, the curl enhancing smoothie and then add on different things. Try this technique and then try the scrunching technique. Just try all the different things. And sometimes it looks good with your hair and sometimes right. it doesn't, you can try something different. Exactly. And... If your hair's super, super curly, I wouldn't scrunch just because it'll the shrinkage will be really short. And if you want it to look longer, just kind of rake it through your hair and then let it air dry. Yeah, I just Ooh. wanted to say like for all the girls who have like 4C, 4A, 4B hair, like we don't have the best tips for you guys because we don't have that hair type. So we're just, again, explaining what works for us. And that's just a little disclaimer that but we don't- But any curly girls can use the same product because yes. I think that Shea Moisture would work for every hair type. Yeah, if that works for you, then I'm so excited. But if some of these tips are maybe not specific for you, definitely search on YouTube and see different types of people who have similar hair to you. And that's what I have personally been doing for the past like three years, mm -hmm. trying to find different hairstyles, different YouTubers that I can find that have really great hair tips, that have similar hair to me. So that yeah. would be my recommendation to you guys. All right, guys, that is it for all of your questions you guys yes. had. If you have any more, maybe we'll do a part two to the video, but I think we covered most of everything. But if you guys have any more, make sure to shoot us a DM or even in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great day and I really hope you enjoyed the video and it gave some help to you guys. Yes. We'll see you in the next video. So make sure to like, subscribe, and if you're new to the channel, turn on the post notifications so you are notified when we post. Make sure to go follow our Instagrams as well. They'll be right here. Ooh. Those Instagrams be popping, in my opinion. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye, Bye. guys. Love you.